Hi guys, Ralph here again. I'm going to do a review of the D9 Bluetooth radio alarm speaker. I'm saying that's an alarm clock, that'd be weird. Made in China. Right, we've um, partner bought this and let me go through with a whole lot of it. It's a, basically, it's that block there, you don't get a phone with it obviously. And you can plug in your phone as an alarm clock, it plays it through as a speaker. It's simple, it's a bedside alarm clock which is an um, iPod dock charger, or so it appears to be. It's out of the box, shows it for iPhone, iPad or Android. UK, I didn't say it was in white or black, but it's, this is the black version. Looks all happy. Bluetooth, docking to play music, FM radio, line in, dual USB, remote control, LCD display and alarm clock. And back round to the um, front or back. So let's get into this. Nice cardboardy yeah, sleeve on the outside. And inside is another box. Open her up. The instructions. It looks all okay. Quite um, an interesting little alarm clock there. So we've had this for a, for a little while. Comes the instructions, don't need those, because I'm amazing. And here comes the alarm clock itself. Come on, get out. Right, like I said, this has been here for a little while because we've not used this. It comes with headphone connector. I could have oh, done with one of those. Oh, when I did the um, Beamish uh, video, there was a... Oh, there was a stereo in there, and there was no, no, oh, what do you call it? There's no cable between the stereo and the phone, and it wasn't Bluetooth. And there wasn't one in there, in the room, could have done with that. And I had it all along. Hey ho. So, pass ply, standard 5 volts, it was a USB voltage. Let's plug her in. The actual thing itself comes with the plastic back so you can um, stick your iPhone on there and it will just that will move so when you plug your iPhone in it will rest against here and then save any strain on the connector good idea however you press that down this spins around to be a lightning connector you press it down again it's a USB USB micro see USB macro, spin around, lining connector for the iPhone, and again, the original iPhone, model 3, 4, whatever. So it's really good to have that as a spin round connector. I could even take that off and just stand it somewhere and plug something in and have three different things plugged in at once. So, side, two speakers, so it's not stereo because it's not on the, well, it might be, it's two. You see the circles on there on the other side. But it's got a USB player, USB charger, so you can charge from this. But you can play through it, so it's obviously a connection into it. Auxiliary in, nine, 5 volts DC in. Mode, snooze. Buttons for things. Now underneath, it shows you that it's a 9 volt, made in China. Two AAAs for the battery memory backup. And there we go. Just plug her in. Now obviously I've not got a iPhone, so let's turn it on. And that's showing 12 o'clock but gone dim. Because the um, sensor on the front will obviously detect something. Snooze. Detect, trying to detect Bluetooth there, to be honest, it's sticking the radio on. Mode. It's getting radio, shall we? Ah, you don't know which one it is. Not very responsive again. How the hell do you tune this thing in? More control with them. Um, yeah, same, con same control as what's on the front. Turn the light off on the front. However, we had problems with these. The battery would kill itself within maybe a week. So obviously something was left switched on. Let's have a look if anything is actually on. 
as the um, cameras detect any. Yeah, the battery's dead again. See, we had problems with this that it wouldn't wake us up in the morning. And we sent off another one, and they basically didn't ask for this one back. Now, that just shows something of the company that they know these things are a pile of cack and it's not worth doing anything with. The only thing that's worth out on this is that cable. Thank you. There's my audio box there. Yeah, that's it. And that's all I've got for you. It's it's all okay on idea and it doesn't give much clue as to half of the symbols in here and how to program it. This is like, I don't know what it is. It's a Chinese translation into English, not an English instructions manual. So everything just sounds stupid and no idea what anything does. But yeah, two minutes into this. This isn't the right time, by the way. It's just been switched on. Snooze button wouldn't work. If the snooze button did, then it didn't turn the alarm on. Sleep time 15. See, that's like with the radio. There's no no aerial on here. Is that radio? Is that radio? Is that radio? Around here, it's had radio 2 before now. So it just doesn't do anything. It's absolutely crud. So, yeah. I've got a five. Actually, we had a problem with this charger as well. That the, um, it just blew up on us on the original one. So this is the first one we got. We got a new transformer for it. And, yeah, this is the original one. I've, I've replaced the replacement for this. Th that transformer with a better one of these. The better transformer. Because this was just pants. And I don't really think I need to use that for hotels. So, there's my review over and done with. It's an absolute piece of bobbins. When you're going to buy something, go back to the old fashioned alarm clocks that had the radio on it and the red LED, LCD, whatever display. So, thanks for watch watching. I hope you enjoy that because that's just a pile of crap. And I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.